Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do these floating glass shards. Placement. Now, this is kind of a complex look. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too long of a tutorial, and I can step you through it to make things a little bit simpler and also be able to duplicate this to make as many shards as you want. I'll show you how to do that as well. So, let's start with a brand new composition. Well, somewhat brand new. I already have this background in here. This is glass shards. Uh, with the whatever the background is, it doesn't matter. It could be video, it could be text, it could be whatever. Um, I'm going to teach you about creating the floating glass. So to do this, I use shape layers. And so I'm going to grab my shape layer tool, just the pen tool. Make sure nothing is selected down in the timeline below. And let's make kind of a A glass shape. Now let's go into the shape layer. Well, let's give it a name first. So glass, let's name this background. Let's go into the shape layer, into the contents, into the shape, and then I'm going to add a gradient fill. From here I need to adjust where the start and the stop is. I want I want it to be somewhat like this where it's white on one side, gray on the other. That's looking pretty good. Now, next, I'm gonna to go to the layers, layer styles, add a bevel and emboss. Let's go down to this and let's make this to chisel hard. And I can increase the size a little bit if I want. But what I do wanna do is I wanna rotate this. Right now I've got it dark on this side, white on that side. So let's rotate the angle. So it's darker on this side and lighter on that side. Now that we can see that, let's bring the size down a little bit. Just about like that. So this is going to be our basic glass shape. Next what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. And the one on the bottom, we're going to call it glass mat. And then we're going to pick whip and parent the glass mat to the glass shape. Now make sure you're on the switches instead of on the modes. And then this right here in the center, adjustment layer effects applied, I'm going to on the glass mat check that. And then on the glass, let's go back to modes and set this to screen or maybe overlay. Let's see what else. Overlay looking pretty cool. Now let's go back to the glass mat and this is where we're going to apply and add some effects here. So let's go to effect. First one we want to do is let's go to distort and transform and we're just going to scale this a little bit. The next one, let's go to effect distort and we want to do displacement map and the displacement map layer we want to do the glass and let's increase that a little bit the reason for the displacement map is so as things move and rotate it doesn't look just like it's enlarged but it's actually kind of being refract refracted through the glass now let's go in and let's add some blurs let's do a fast blur I think I'm just going to do the fast blur and then I'm going to go into the effects on the compositing options. If you're on After Effects CC, you have this compositing option. I'm going to bring that down. And then it just gives kind of a little bit of a glow to it. And then let's maybe try something like scatter eyes. And then again, let's go down to the compositing options and bring down the opacity. I might even put this before the fast blur. I'm just trying to make kind of a, a glass looking effect. Maybe make the scale up a little bit bigger. And that's about where we're gonna be at. So now let's let's see what we can do with this. So this glass mat, this is the one that we don't move. Remember I had parented that to the glass. So this glass layer, as I move it around, you can see it's looking pretty cool, isn't it? Now if I turn these both 3D, I can rotate them and it's starting to look. This is pretty sweet looking, I think. So let's do a quick animation. So let's go to the glass layer, the top one. Let's go into transform. Let's keyframe. Let's render this out, see what it looks like. It's looking pretty cool. 
Now, some other things we can do. Maybe we come into this glass matte layer. And let's go to color correction. Let's go to curves. And maybe it loses some contrast. Let's go to the blue. Maybe the whole thing's a little bit blue. That's starting to look kind of like glass. Now, before I go and duplicate this, I want to do some stuff to make things a little bit easier. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to connect the mask path of the shape of the glass mat to the normal glass layer. So if I come in to the shape, content shape path, and then I do the same thing with this glass layer. Let's give myself some room. So I have the content shape path one, content shape path one, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to option click or alt click on the stopwatch and pick whip it to that path. And what this is saying is this comp uh, dot layer glass, it's, it's connecting the path to the path. So when I come up to this glass layer, I can click on the path. I can now change this and it's going to change automatically. So it's connecting the two layers together. Now that's all good and fine with this one layer, but if I duplicate these, it's going to be a little bit confusing because the duplicate layers are still going to be looking at the original um, glass layer. So what I need to do is I need to add a little expression controller to this. So I'm going to select the glass mat. Let's go to effect, expression controls, and we're going to put in a layer control. And under this layer control, let's select glass. And then what I'm going to do is right here where it says this comp dot layer glass. I'm going to replace that. This is in the glass mat. I'm going to highlight it, grab the pick whip, and just grab the layer control. And it's going to do the same thing, but now I can switch this out easily. So now this is ready to start duplicating. So let's duplicate these. I'm going to come into these <coughs> duplicates. Let's go into the transform and let's Take away all the keyframes. Just move it somewhere else. Now let's go into the path. Let's change the path. And you can see here, it's changing the path, but the adjustment layer is not changing yet. And it will in a second. So I changed this path. Now let's go to the glass mat too. Let's go down to the bottom where the layer control is. And if I switch this to glass to, boom, synced up just fine. So now I've got two shards of glass and I can come into this one and let's keyframe and animate this one as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and do a couple more of these shards in glass before we get the uh, final look for you. So here is the final rendered out, and I went ahead and actually added a camera move to this as well, just to show you that you can have three-dimensional camera moves, and it's still going to work just fine. Now, I must warn you, this takes a lot to render. It's quite the beast. Um, it took quite a bit of time just to go through these seven seconds. So if you are on a slow computer, um, this might be very frustrating for you. And the more glass shards and the more you add to this, the longer it's going to take. So, just to warn you. But that's it for the tutorial. Um, obviously, there's some more you can do if you wanted to add a little more floating particles or some optical flares, lens flares, or anything like that. Uh, you can add all that stuff as well. I just wanted to kind of cut down on rendering time, even though, because I knew it was going to be a lot. Um, so, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below. If you've got a cool example of what you created using this technique, I'd love to see it. So go ahead and have a link to that video in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out my channel. I put out new tutorials every week, actually two of them every week. On Wednesdays we have shorter tutorials that are quick tips, and on Fridays we do longer tutorials just like this one. So if you 
like what you see, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.